Yeah, I think it's more on, you know, what we were trying to, you know, get established and and how he wanted to attack today. So uh, the curveball will still be in play. You'll you'll see it, you know, down the line. I think, you know, we had some other emphasis today trying to get a couple pitches uh, aggressive, established in the zone, get some confidence to build on. Did it seem like Fernando took out a little bit of frustration on that pitch in the ninth? I mean, he absolutely hammered it. Yeah, he hit that ball good. Um, I, I don't know, you know, I think I think he's been taking some 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 good swings. It was nice to see him, you know, square one up and and hopefully now uh, he'll get going a little bit. So I think it's, you know, fair to say, uh, you know, pressing a little bit. Um, you know, we all want to get off to, to great starts and, and get going. And so, you know, is he forcing a little little bit? Maybe. Uh, but I know that's a good sign. Uh, he, he squared that ball up, kept his head down, drove through it. And and um, now, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully that's a sign of, of really good things to come. And and uh, as you guys know, um, you know, when, when he gets hot, he's capable of, of doing very special things. What are you seeing with him defensively? right now yeah i think uh you know i i I think coming out of spring training um you know unfortunately uh not getting as probably much consistent time due to um you know a couple uh injuries here or there uh he's not in his groove defensively right now um the a lot of things i have confidence in i think in my humble opinion i think uh you know i think we got the best infield coach in the game and uh we got you know tatis who's athletic and has a great work ethic so uh my guess is once he starts to get into a little bit more rhythm out there they're, they're going to find their flow and and uh he'll clean those things up and is it more likely that when you're struggling at the plate it impacts fielding or vice versa when you're struggling in the field it impacts hitting i i think they they can go hand in hand and it's uh uh, it, it's something that, you know, takes time. You, you always hear the old phrase, you don't want to let, you know, your, your offense affect your defense and vice versa and things like that. So, um, uh, look, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of uh, confidence and we've got a lot of games left. And, uh, you know, the, the, the summer's going to heat up and, and, and we're going to find our rhythm. I think the main thing is, you know, you walk away from, uh, you know, a ser- series, you had a chance to sweep. You certainly want to do that. It's incredibly hard, but, uh, you know, we certainly haven't played our, our best ball and, and to be able to win the series, that's big. And now uh, a new series starts tomorrow against a tough Giants team and, and uh, you know, try to try to get uh, these last three here at home on the homestand. Yeah, I think that, that that's fair to say. You see it, you see it all the time, um, you know, whether a, a guy makes a defensive play you know, a, a great play and then, you know, come in. Sometimes that can jumpstart your offense or offensively you see a guy get a bunt hit and then they get going. And I think, you know, for, for, for Taddy, you know, to be able to square up a ball and, and hit it as hard and hard and as far as he did right there, um, that's that, that that's just going to jumpstart him getting going. I felt great. Um, you know, I thought we attacked the zone really well, um, especially an aggressive hitting team. Uh, you know, I noticed early the fastball was playing really well and got to tip my cap to them. They, uh, you know, they're very disciplined at the plate today with my changeups. Um, you, you did not have a great end of spring training. How much better did your stuff feel today versus your last two appearances? Uh, it's felt great. You know, I know that uh, we've uh, we've been having some, you know, rough times uh, on the mound, you know, course of last year and a little bit of spring this year. But, um, you know, I got myself in this struggle. I'm going to have to get myself out. And, uh, I'm, you know, I, I believed in myself. I had confidence on the mound today. And, uh you know, there's not a doubt in my mind that it's uh, this struggle is coming out very shortly. Chris, what did you take away being able to watch um, Darvish, Snell, and Musgrove the last three games in their start against Arizona? Yeah, it was, uh, man, it was fun to watch all three of those guys pitch. And then we got uh, more home going tomorrow. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just soaking it all in, trying to learn, learn something new every day, um, you know, from those guys and, and pick their brain. But, um, you know, I definitely thought I had the advantage today going into today's start, seeing the Diamondbacks uh, three days in a row and then having my start. Um, things didn't go our way, but, you know, it's uh, it's been pretty cool to have, um, you know, Darvis, Snell, Musgrove guys to, uh, you know, kind of lean on and ask questions and, you know, learn from.